Hello Wildlife Watchers, my name's Anna and I work for London Wildlife Trust on the Brilliant Butterflies project. That means I get to spend a lot of time around my favourite insects, butterflies. Today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit more about them and showing you how to make your very own Brilliant Butterfly. Did you know that we've got 59 different species of butterfly in Britain? And you can see all the colours of the rainbow in their wings. From the red admiral to the orange tip, from the clouded yellow to the green hair streak, from the common blue to the purple emperor, and many more besides. We've seen that lots of butterflies are named after the colours on their wings, but many are named after the patterns. This ringlet has delicate hoops on its wings. This speckled wood has lots of spotty speckles. And this marbled white has a very striking black and white marbled pattern. So, butterflies are colourful, patterned and eye-catching. But some of them are actually masters of disguise. Check out this comma. With its wings closed, it looks just like a dead leaf. When it opens its wings, you can see its beautiful golden patterns. Butterflies use this camouflage trick to help them to stay hidden from predators, such as birds. Today we're going to be making our very own butterfly in disguise. Here's what you'll need. First you'll need to fold your piece of paper exactly in half. Push down nice and firmly to create a strong crease and then open it back out again. Now you'll need your pencil to draw half a butterfly on one side of the piece of paper. It doesn't need to be perfect, it's just to act as a guide when you're putting your paint on. Now you're ready for some paint. I've got some pictures here to help me, so you might want to have a look in books or on the internet to find some of your own, or you can just use your imagination. I've chosen the Red Admiral to use as my inspiration, and it's one of my favorite butterflies. It means I'm going to need some black, some red, and some white paint. So I'm going to look carefully, I'm going to choose the black paint first. I'm just going to follow the pattern on the butterfly's wings. You're just using a little bit of paint squeezing it out. Don't need to fill all the areas, so once you fold the paper, the paint will spread out. Now for my red. See there's a red stripe across the top of the forewing. And some on the bottom. And just a little bit of white. Now we're ready to fold the paper. Butterfly's wings are symmetrical, which means they're the same on both sides. So, when we fold our paper, hopefully, we open it back out, we should have a lovely symmetrical butterfly. Let's see. We press down along the crease and then just gently push your fingers all around the outside of the shape of the butterfly. And we're ready to open up. Ta-da! Once your butterfly is completely dry, you can cut it out. You might want to get an adult to help you with this. Now we can make the body of the butterfly. For this you'll need some black card. It needs to be about the same length as the middle of your butterfly. You need to draw a long pointed oval shape. We're now going to glue it onto the middle of our butterfly. Now we're going to work on the back of your butterfly to create a camouflage disguise. For this, you'll need some dead leaves. If you can find a couple with stalks on, like these, we can use those as the butterfly's antennae. The antennae are very important because they help a butterfly to sense things in its environment, such as food and other butterflies. I'm just going to use a little bit of sellotape to stick these down. You might want to get an adult to help you with the cutting. Now we're going to cover the rest of the back of our butterfly with our dead leaves. You can use the leaves whole, or you can tear them into pieces to make them fit in the gaps. I'm just covering the whole of the back of our butterfly so that it will be concealed from predators. 
once you've finished, it should look something like this. Now your butterfly in disguise is complete. You might like to hang it in a window or in a tree. Thanks so much for tuning in today. If you'd like to find out more about the Brilliant Butterflies Project, please click the link in the box below the video. And good luck with your butterfly spotting. I wonder how many you'll see this summer. Bye!